what today is. It's Saturday and you know that means it's thrifting day. It's been a minute, but I am ready and looking for specific pieces that I'm hopefully going to find. And we have perfect thrifting weather. It's the best when it's cloudy and you can get an iced coffee. You can walk in and look around. Ooh, yes, I'm prepared. The first one I'm going to is a local Goodwill that I go to pretty often. It's been a minute since I've been here, but I'm going to be looking for more books here. They have a really good book selection. However, recently I've been kind of struggling, but let's go see and see what they have. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah, I know. That was quick. I went in and it was packed. I could not find any space to really film or talk to you guys. And overall, I just couldn't find a genre I really liked. I found one, but it's an older book. Here, I'll show you really quick. See, it's an older book that from an author that I've never heard of in my entire life. I'm going to give it a go. See what happens. I really enjoy learning about Egyptian history and the culture, so this is more like a murder mystery with that. So I thought it was a different switch up, even though I didn't go away from my specific genre, but we'll give it a go. That was a little bit of a dud, have to be honest. I was expecting more. It is what it is. Sometimes that's the way it is. I'm gonna be heading over to another location that I haven't been to in a hot minute just because it's a little bit further. I wanna take you, I wanna show you because just, just wait, let's go. Our next spot is a local favorite of mine. When I am here, I spend too much time in here. It's a space essentially where small businesses can come in and share their products. So it's not like they had to do a pop-up. Well, technically it is a pop-up but they can stay there for as long as they can afford it, you know, like a month or a couple months. And then people have the opportunity to come in, see their products, and then basically support them, which is what we want. Don't get me wrong, I like going to Goodwill and Salvation Army and other places as well, but this is a nice switch up. And it's also nice to support small businesses. Let's go inside and let me tell you, the aesthetic yeah! it's giving okay but before we go in though can i show my fit real quick we got some bands that i got at a local consignment shop i got this at a consignment shop as well it's my favorite jacket of all time i always get compliments on it and then i got this jumpsuit at aldi yes you heard me correctly aldi for like 15 bucks and it is so freaking comfy and it has pockets. pockets. And then I just got this bandana at Walmart for a couple bucks. And then of course, I got this cute bag from a concert that I went to for Charlie Puth. Honestly, I just wanted to show it off because I'm really proud of it. And I just love wearing this jacket because it gives me a lot of confidence. Okay, let's go. is different this one in front of me is one and then there's another one here focused on travel and then another one that's based more on I think antiques and it keeps going this is one of my favorite sections and I'm kind of hoping to find something I love finding vintage shirts it's one of my favorite pastimes so I was kind of hoping to find something maybe kind of more casual for summertime just because I'm trying to look for some more but we'll see That's super cute, but I think I have something similar at home, but it's something that I would wear. It's giving 1970s. Here's some more that I was kind of, ooh, that's kind of cute. I like that for summer. The plaid's really cute. I can see that wearing to a picnic. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's cute. This is 
something that I would wear. However, I don't know if I would wear it often enough. I like the design. Found my favorite section, the stickers. Do I need any more? No, but I love myself some good stickers. Come on, look how cute that is. My current temptation is to get a clear tumbler, like 40 ounce, and then just buy a bunch of stickers and put it on it, waterproof stickers. So this is kind of <sighs> tempting me a little bit, but I have to be strong. I ended up not getting that cute vintage shirt, the one with the floral on it. However, I did find a really cute tee. Here, let me show you. It's this really cute vintage Coca-Cola t-shirt. I think it's super cute. It is oversized, so I thought I could always tuck it into a high-waisted mom jeans or shorts or something like that, or even wear it over a bathing suit, and then I could just wear that around during the summer. So, success. On to the next place. We are at our next stop, which is Salvation Army. It's been a while since I've been here, but I usually find some good quality stuff. My goal is to find shorts or even mom jeans here. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not because it's a hit and miss in regards to that, but sometimes I can find really cute skirts and dresses and sometimes even tops. It very much varies depending on when I go, but I'm really hoping to find some more spring summer clothes just because we're phasing out of the winter time, but let's go in and see what they have. Oops. I know a lot of people like coming here specifically because there's a lot of Zara clothes here. I don't know how they got a hold of it, but it takes up like two or three sections. And a lot of people come here to get it because I mean it's cheaper and also you don't have to go online. Can I give you a confession? Sometime, maybe today, I don't know, but sometimes I just want to try ugly stuff on just for pure heck of it, just to see. <laughs> Actually, okay, I have done this a handful of times, but sometimes I'll grab something and be like, oh yeah, this is kind of ugly, and then I put it on and I actually like it. It's happened before. However, my style is a little different though. I do like more vintage retro. People have their different opinions in regards to that and the style. Tell me why every single time I'll find something cute, it's never my size. It's too small. <laughs> Struggle's real sometimes when they put a tag over the size. I can't, oh yeah, it's too small. Oh, I should put that back where it was. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I like the pearls. Wait. It's funny because I was even looking for a color like this. Old Navy has this pair of pants and a jacket that were lavender, but it was too expensive. So this is a great alternative. I'm gonna get it. Wow, this is the most bare I've ever seen. This section. Maybe they're clearing out. Salvation Army surprises me sometimes because you can find some good shoes not all the time, but sometimes. I have this really cute pair of black boots that I got here one time and I wear them regularly because they're comfortable and they still fit. Sometimes it surprises you. We have some cute purses. I kind of like that one. I also like this one, but I wish there was a, a strap to it. That's like the typical snake pattern that you see a lot of the time, but it's not really peeking. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna. What do you think of this hat? 
I don't know if I like that. I thought it was gonna be more fitting. You is fabulous! Yeah! Why do I kinda like this? It's cool. Where are the jeans? but also, mm, I don't know. But this one, I really like a lot. It's giving 90s vibes with like, I could wear a long black sleeve t-shirt with jeans, white, uh, not white jeans, sorry, um, like a light wash. I don't know about this one though. wearing this during the summer with a white bikini top yeah peachy vibes i like it for some reason this is giving as well i kind of like it but it's see-through so i don't know i'm gonna think about that i forgot the pile is piling <laughs> i honestly thought the pile was going to be worse that's definitely better compared to other times i've been here before i head out i really want to go check out the guy t-shirts because it's a requirement when you come to Google to look through the guy shirts to see if you could find any comfy ones to wear to bed. It's a requirement. I said what I said. I am not getting anything at all. Where is the stuff, man? Oh my gosh. Look at this jean jacket though. I'm very, very tempted. It's too big. I don't want to be doing this all the time. I got all of this stuff for less than $12. I guess there must have been a sale on or something because I am doing this closer to a holiday, but it's not even Wednesday because they have 50% off on every Wednesday. I'm doing this on the weekend. So maybe I just got lucky with all these items. I don't know. I thought this was going to be more than 20, 30 bucks. Go me. That trip was a little dry. I have to say that sometimes that happens, but it was still fun. Don't get me wrong. I think at this point, I'm not going to do any more thrifting. Why you always lying? I'm heading to Old Navy just to see what they had because they were having a sale that I mentioned before where I was going to get that jacket combo with the, with the pants. I still want to check it out and check out other things to maybe see I could find something else. But I don't think I'm going to take you along because, well, everyone knows Old Navy. <laughs> everyone knows it. So, but I will show you later what I got. Success! I accidentally lied. No, I didn't try it. Okay, here's the deal. I ended up going to Old Navy and I looked around and I could only find this really cute top that I found in the guy section on sale. So of course I had to pick it up and I know it's gonna be a staple for the summertime. So I'm happy I was able to find that. I looked into that combo I was telling you about and I didn't like the texture and even with the sale, it was still kind of expensive. So I passed on it. So I'm really happy I was able to find that lavender piece. I ended up meeting with a friend later and we decided to go thrifting. <laughs> it was unexpected. And I decided I wanted to be in the moment with my friend and spend time with her. I realized that sometimes you just need to have a balance between creating content and spending time with people in the moment. And that was one of those moments. And I hope you understand. However, I did get some really cute pieces. That one, well, that that Goodwill, I'd never been to. I forgot about it. And also I just never go out to that specific area where my friend is. Next time we will go to that Goodwill together and explore more because there is more old vintage clothing that I wanted to look into more. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you as always. I love hanging out with you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the tube front.